Now, before I even solve this in 60 seconds, let me tell you that this was the question which I got wrong in the test and this was the last question I did. I had about eight seconds to go. And do mistakes happen? Yeah, they do, all right? But let's see as to how you should solve this ideally, right? 60 seconds to go. If A and B are non-negative real numbers, fine, they're going to be positive or zero, such that A plus 2B equals 6, then the average of the maximum and minimum possible values of A plus B. A plus B, what is the max of it going to be? If the max I can assign is going to be 6, not more than that, but can it be it? Yes, if B is 0, then A becomes 6, okay? If A is 0, then 2B is 6, B becomes 3, that's it. Um, so 3 plus 0 and 6 plus 0, it's going to be 6 and 3. Uh, what we are required to find is the average, and this is where I actually went wrong in this exam. Uh, what is the average of 6 and 3? So 6 plus 3 by 2 and that comes to 4.5. Option 3 becomes the answer. Now, as I said, uh, this was the paper where I got 99.99 percentile and this was the only question which I got wrong as well. And um, I just had about 7 to 8 seconds. This was the last question. Of course, a high risk taker. I just marked it. The mistake I did was I didn't realize the average part. I think I took the difference over here. All right? I found 6 and 3, went for the difference that was also there in the options. Uh, right. So do mistakes happen? Yes, for everybody. The next thing which I want to highlight to a lot of you over here is that a lot of us think that, you know, there's a perfect way of taking the test. No, there's nothing. Right? There's no perfect way of taking the test. Everybody is going to have an imperfect test. Did I have a perfect way? Did I solve it perfectly during the test? No. Were there times where I was double checking, triple checking, even though I had the correct answer? Yes. Right. So were there questions I could have done a lot quicker? Yes. Did I solve every question in 60 seconds? Obviously not. We know that. Um, it does take more time for some questions. There are some questions you can do quickly as well. Right. Um, the whole idea behind these uh, videos of solving 60 seconds is for you to know that if you're conceptually clear, you're prepared, your thought process is there, you can answer a lot of these questions in 60 seconds. Right. So ensure that you prep well, ensure that you take the test well. And for taking the test, throw that stress out. Don't look at the perfect way of taking the test. As long as you're there in that zone, remember that everybody wastes time on the exam, including me. So it's perfectly fine. It's a question of how you bounce back after spending a lot of time in one question. Right? Remember that and take the test well. And in case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel. And do um, check out our content at mockcat.com. Take the speed concepts over there. Uh, the speed concepts itself is going to clarify a lot of these for you, right? And it's going to put you in a pretty good position for the test.